Hello and welcome to our first module, a simple introduction for data visualization. Today, we are going to talk about three main topics. One, what is data visualization? Two, why do we need to learn it? And three, how is it used in the real world? Now, let's cover the first question. Data visualization is to communicate information clearly and efficiently. Graphical means are used to stimulate viewer engagement and attention. For example, in this US election data viz, we immediately know that Biden's chance of winning is greater than Trump's. Now, we might ask ourselves, why do we need to learn data visualization? Let's take a look at the table here. Within five seconds, can you tell which color of the iPhone 12 was sold the most in New Territories and the least in Kowloon? Probably not, right? We would have to first read the columns and then for each area, look at each of the numbers and finally give an answer. But what if we visualize it? Here, we see a bar chart for iPhone 12 sales by color. The colors of the bars represent the color of the iPhone 12. Now, we can easily tell that dark blue was sold the most in New Territories, but the least in Kowloon. In fact, did you know that the human brain can process an image in just 13 milliseconds and high quality infographics are 30 times more likely to be read than plain text. Indeed, compared to spreadsheets and reports, our brain's response to images, visuals, charts, and graphs more easily and quickly. With our brains so attuned to visuals, this implies that we can make complex data easier to understand with the help of visuals. In addition, we can acquire meaningful insights, make predictions, and foresee anomalies. Last but not least, how is data visualization used in the real world? In recent years, Data has become every organization's most important asset. Companies that don't put data into effective use will inevitably fall behind. So, companies will be looking for someone who have data literacy and the skills to turn data into business value. These skills include visualizing data, which allow for more efficient transfer of information. Now, let's look at some real-world applications. For example, in MTR CSR report, they use DataViz to show the gender distribution of workforce by location. Also, in some companies, they use dashboards to show an overview of sales performance. Also, journalists tell stories through engaging infographics. This is called data journalism. All in all, as long as you've got a message to tell and a data set in hand, you can use data visualization to communicate more effectively and efficiently. This is the end of our first module. You may move on to the next module, Data Visualization with Tableau.